Effects and Pedals Arena Corner. Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan here with Effects and Pedals Arena Corner, and I'm here with the Ball Maria uh, uh, player who made the rock music in Philly tonight at the Philomoca venue. <laughs> Up behind the gear. So, Mike, Mike, how's it going? Doing really good. So, why did you make the Balmaria uh, band? Well, uh, it's actually pronounced Balmaria. Okay. The namesake is a tiny town in West Texas, and we were playing music there and kind of realized we had a, a band on our hands and looking for a name, and that just kind of sounded right. Well, Texas is a very cool state that's down in the southern part of the country and I have one question for you why don't you talk weird like other people from that southern I don't know Austin's kind of an island as far as culture and progressive thinking so maybe that's that's why well we're here today to talk about the pedals because that's what makes music good and that's the most important part about any band and music is just the pedals that they use so if you would be so kind I'd love to find out what kind of pedals you're working with. But first, let me ask you about your guitar and your amp. You have a brown guitar. Oops, sorry. Brown guitar with this, a burst, brown pedal board, white edges. Very cool. And that's your little brown amp over there? Yep, that's a basement, four by 10. Cool. And I bet because you're a rock musician and a cool musician, you probably have other color guitars too. Uh, I have a, a wooden colored one, just normal wood, untreated. Very cool. And a black one. Cool. Behind the gear. Okay, so if you don't mind, I'd like to know about what these different pedals do and how they do the things that you do. Yeah. Uh, come into the side uh, to the volume pedal, and I have a tuner on the tuner out from the volume. So the volume pedal, that makes this, the, the music go louder. Yes. So what does that sound? From nothing to something. But I could hear something when you first did it. I hear something. Yeah. Yeah. That's because you're close. Oh, but see. So he's saying when, when he's playing to the audience, if you want to play the loud rock music, they're not going to hear it if it's that low, but we can hear it because we're close to a rock person. Yes, exactly. Behind the gear. Wow. So the sound is happening again and again and again forever. Yep. So I imagine you could maybe use that on stage to just play and then you can leave the stage to go to the bathroom or grab a water or some other beverage. Exactly. And then the band can play along with whatever you set, left them with. It's like a babysitter. You can try it, yeah, it's easy. Behind the key. Uh, next I have a Big Muff Nano, which is ironic in its terminology. It's a small Big Muff. Which is just wow, fu- a loud box. It's a, fu- it's a fuzz box, yeah. But it's a little pedal called the Big Muff White Pedal. Right. The original one is a large footprint. The original one is a big gray one, but there's a little white one. Yeah, a little, little white guy. Yeah. The key up. I have a DD6 uh, that I use in a in a reverse setting. White pedal. It's a white pedal with baby blue uh, accents. Uh, I use that for kind of ambient swells. In conjunction with uh, another reverb pedal that I have set to a cathedral setting, that's supposed to mimic like the what you hear inside of a church. So that's so these are the church pedals to make the church sound. You use three pedals to make it sound like it's in a church. But if you played in a church, you wouldn't need the pedals. So if you toured big right. churches, you wouldn't need those pedals. You're exactly right, yeah, totally. Behind the gear. And why do you have the weird lines on the pedals? I have the lines on them so I know I know where these are supposed to be set. So if, wow. they, if they get bumped in, a, in loading in or out of a concert, I can get them back to where they're supposed to be for the right sound. So I wouldn't need to do that because when I use pedals, I think I just turn everything all the way, all up, the way up. Yeah, that's one, that's one way to do it. I don't do it that way, but... 
everyone likes their own sound. Right. Oh yeah, there's some Easter eggs here in this board. They have the underneath of the pedal board. He has a secret pedal stash. There's some, there's some space here. I have a Holy Grail reverb pedal that I keep on all the time just for a little. My amp does not have reverb, so I have to have a couple, I have a couple options just to go between them. Um, and then at the end of my signal chain, I have this kind of, uh, I guess you would call it like a buffer, a s kind of a signal boost just from all the cabling. It just kind of gives it an extra last. To make it louder? Yeah, just to kind of- Another loud box? Uh, yeah, sort of. Just kind of makes everything feel right how it's supposed to be. Well, that's very smart to have the hidden ones because you have the good ones under the board so that robbers and thieves that might be in the audience aren't going to steal the cool ones off the top. And you just keep the coolest, most important ones underneath yep. as a security mechanism. So shout out to you for thinking that. <laughs> yep, they'll never know. Well, Mike from the Bal Bal Marie Bal Bal Marie Band. We welcome you to Philadelphia, and we hope you have a killer rock show tonight. Thank you. And uh, it was very cool to show us your brown guitar and some of the different colored pedals you have. So, guys, check out the Balmeray Bal Bal Band. Where can they check you out? BalmerayMusic.com uh, and everywhere else on the Internet. If you put in that name, you'll find us. Okay. Well, this has been Billy Cardigan with Effects and Pedals Arena Corner. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later. This has been a Shy Boys production.